Okay, this time I want to talk to uh, everybody about high body construction. Uh, basically three sizes of high bodies. You have the deep, which most people refer to as a brood box. Then you have a medium and a shallow, which most people call supers, or that's your honey supers. Uh, the pattern I use is from vsource.com. It's a 10 frame Longstrom beehive. It has everything from the bottom board, deep, medium, shallow, inner cover, to a telescoping lid. So, you know, if you need a pattern for beehive, that's a good source. What I want to talk to is box or finger joints as opposed to a rabbit joint. Most commercial bee equipment that you buy is going to have a finger or a box joint. This is a very sturdy, durable joint. However, me personally, I think it's a little overkill for beehive equipment. Uh, what I prefer to use is a rabbit joint. To me, the big difference with a box joint, you have a lot more of the ingrain exposed to the weather. This ingrain and this ingrain are both to the outside. Ingrain is the most absorbent point part of the wood. The surface doesn't absorb moisture as quickly as it does through the ingrain. The cell structure of wood is kind of like a soda straw. So all these ingrains are like open soda straws. Now, with a rabbit joint, your side piece is just cut square. There's no joinery work on it. And it simply slides right into the rabbit joint. So all of this end joint is covered. The only end grain that you have exposed is this narrow strip here. So to me, this is a much more weatherable joint for bee construction. It's also a very sturdy joint. I've, never, I've been using these and I've never had any problems with it. So, what I'm going to do is a couple of videos here. I'm going to do one to show how to actually cut all this out. And then once I get these cutout done, then I'll actually go into assembly.